This is problem 2.2 from our textbook, The Mechanical Relations from Rao 6 edition. Here we have a spring mass system that has a natural period of 0 0.21 seconds. And they are asking us what will be the new period if the spring constant is A, increased by 50%, and B, decreased by 50%. So we have the period... The natural period is 0.21 seconds. We know that the natural period relates to the natural frequency as 2 pi over the period. And we also know that the natural frequency is equals to k, which is the constant of the spring, divided by the mass of the system. Then I can write my period as 2 pi over omega n, that will be 2 pi, square root of the mass, divided by the square root of k. I am separating those roots because we are going to only change the spring constant. So let's start with part A. They say that they want to increase the constant of the spring by 50%. Therefore, the new constant of the spring will be 1.5, the original constant of the spring. Therefore, my new natural period will be 2 pi, the same mass, and 1.5, the constant of the spring. So since I don't have the mass, I will solve for the mass right here, which will be the original natural period times the square root of the constant of the spring divided by 2 pi. And I'm going to insert that over here. So that will be that the new period will be 2 pi, the original period times k, divided by 2 pi, and this all divided also by 1.5 k. So here I can cancel out 2 pi, and I can also cancel out the k. So my new period will be the Original period divided by the square root of 1.5. So if the original period is 0 0.1 seconds divided by the square root of 1.5, I get that the new period is equal to 0 0.1715 seconds. So please note that the new period is smaller than the original period. So when we increase the constant of the spring, the period decreases. We will use a similar approach for the second, and it says that it's 0.5k. This is part B. So the new period will be 2 pi m, the same 0 0.5 k. And again, we substitute the mass. And the mass is the original period, square root of k, divided by 2 pi. We cancel out the 2 pi and k. And here we see that the new period will be the original period divided by square root of 0 0.5. That gives me a value of 0 0.2970 seconds. So that gives me the conclusion that when k increases, the period decreases. And here the k decreases and the period increases.